As you know, BSG will bring about a lot of stuff in the coming months. If you didn't, there's a video I did over a week ago about it in the description. I saved this specific topic for this video because of its relevance as they will soon implement EFT's new armor plate system. And it looks like a cool system to add at face value. What they didn't tell you is this will have a profound impact on your gameplay, overall survivability, and perhaps turn out to be worse than you might think. This new armor plate system will offer different levels of protection armor plates that can be replaced and have a hitbox exclusive to them, meaning it only covers its exact area. In essence, they're creating an additional hitbox. These areas around the plate will be less protected, either by soft armor embedded in the plate carrier or not protected at all. The plate carrier will have its own basic level of protection, maybe a level 2 soft armor, and then you can add a level 6 plate, for example. This will open up the areas that were protected before around the plate, the sides of the torso and stomach, for example, shoulders even frontally around the plate, and make even the best armors a lot more vulnerable. Granted, it will make the armor system a lot more realistic than being wrapped in magic invisible protection, but in doing so, it will make the armors a hell of a lot less effective. Ultimately, armors with better all-round protection should skyrocket in price, while plate carriers with no soft armor around the plate should become cheap as chips, because the protected area will be reduced by 50% or more. This realistic hitbox will surely bring about some changes to the gameplay, but I'm not sure some are intended. Overall, I identify four general groups of players, so let's talk a little bit about how each is going to be affected by this. For the hyper-aggressive Chad, he now has another motivation to push aggressively and get the first shot off first, even in full level 6 plate armor. The gaps would allow something as bad as 545pp to kill him in a few shots around the plate. Now, knowing his armor no longer covers 100% of his thorax and or stomach, he needs to kill the enemy even faster, as not to allow shots to be fired at him. Remember, overall, armor protection will be significantly smaller than before, so allowing your opponent to take any shot at you is even riskier. If you are one of these players, you need to push even harder, faster, be more accurate, and not let your opponent have a chance to react. In my opinion, these players are second and the most affected by this system, and will find it very hard to take, dying a bit more often because of the less protection their armors will offer. While sometimes you could trace dying to something you did or didn't do, now it could just be a few pellets to the side of your level 6 semi-protected thorax. As for the rats, well, they're laughing all the way to the extract. The evil W keyer is now more fragile and easily killed. No longer shall he wait extra time for that perfect shot when he can kill you faster and with worse ammo. The opening of more holes where he can place his shots with low cost ammo and scoop up all your loot should make rats return in flocks to EFT. The chance to put down higher geared players with extra ease should leave them salivating for the update. I think I have never heard of a game system more beneficial to a rat playstyle ever in any game. Nothing changes, except your enemy's armor is now smaller than before, and you have more areas you can two-tap him on. What a shame. Honestly, I don't think this group of players will suffer at all, and they will have massive benefits from this. However, this will not be the group of players that will reap the most benefits. The real winners in this update will be the vacuums of human joy and hope. The cheaters. These... <clears throat> players will reap the most benefits. I can imagine a lot of them will now have a chance to set up their aimbots to different areas and some might even excel on catching players off guard with two taps to the chest. Cheaters will now be able to hide better aimbots, making them target armor gaps and not just head eyes everything that moves. If anything, this new system will make it even harder to detect aimbotting cheaters. In all honesty, I can see any group of players, not even the scruffy rats, that will take more joy in this new system. Now they will be able to kill you from more angles, and not even need good ammo to pen your helmet. Get ready for a resurgence of cheating, and this time, without a post-raid replay system, it will be even harder to detect them. 
Finally, we have the biggest losers of the armor system update. The role-playing tactical gamers or operators. Get ready for extra pain. These players will suffer the most out of all. The chats will push even harder because their armors are less effective and they need to kill you first. Rats will kill you more because if you don't spot them and they get those shots off first, they can now kill you in more places. And well, cheaters will kill you easier with worse ammo, so enjoy? I honestly can't see an upside to, for these poor souls. But hey, Escape from Tarkov is a tactical realistic shooter, right? <laughs> this new armor system is going to shake things up and, in my opinion, make the game even more punishing for legit players. Benefit those that exploit the weaknesses of the game design, like extra campers and others, and massively aid cheaters in avoiding in-game detection on kills. Another great win for BSG, surely to make people stay around longer for the wipe and even complain about the next wipe after this update comes too soon. In my opinion, there are features that should have been worked on and released much sooner than this one. The post-raid replay should be a thing by now and allow us to flag suspicious players after if we choose to review the raid to see exactly how we died. We need to trust the game before they introduce things that can make us distrust it even more. Don't get me wrong, I agree with the armor system being a feature. It is, after all, just taking the complexity of the gun system and applying it to armors. But doing this before getting rid of cheaters, reducing desync dramatically, getting the audio working properly, or even introducing other systems such as the post-raid replay system, or actually balancing out progression, it just feels wrong place, wrong time. Something that has such a profound effect on your survivability should have been introduced after these issues were addressed because what it will do right now is make the game feel worse to the player base look maybe i'm wrong and by the time this releases all those other issues are fixed and maybe they will give us a post raid replay system as a surprise in the patch with a new armor system and let us report on suspicious players to help cull the cheaters i don't know at this point, I can only hope this new system won't actually do as much damage as I think it will. After all, an armor plate system mod has already been available for SPT for months now, and it's fine. But then again, that is single player only, so... Uh, what are your thoughts on this? Do you share my concerns about this new armor system, or do you see a general upside I do not? Let me know in the comments, just please be respectful. Leave a like! Subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.